Horses are on the track for the third race at the Illinois State Fair. Win, play, show, exact to trifecta wagering. The top-line stakes for two-year-old trotters. Number one, Sunday Express, owned by Harold Ruddick, Jr. of Seymour, Indiana. Trained by Stacy Ruddick, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number two, Starlet Victory, owned by Sam and Shirley Glossop of Ardmore, Alabama. Trained by Clint Glossop. The driver is Tom Simmons. Number three is Smoke in a Bottle, owned by David and Karen Avenetti of Broadlands, trained and driven by David Avenetti. Number four, Isabella Hall, owned by Bob and Gail Sanders of Manuka, by Donald Jennings of Morris, Illinois, trained by Bob Sanders, the driver, Randy Jacobs. Number five, Certainly Striking, is owned by Vernon Devine of Minneapolis, Minnesota, by Susan Schroeder of Waukesha, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Rick Schroeder. Number six, Lucky Otis is scratched. Number seven is Fling It, owned by C.D. Huffman of Sigourney, Iowa, trained by Steve Huffman. The driver is Mike Arnold. And number eight is Soup for the Soul, owned by Robert Larkey of Maquoketa, Iowa. The trainer is Rick Huffman. The driver is Steve Searle. Post time in five minutes. They're off and trotting. Fling it grabs the racetrack. Certainly striking is there. And Starlet Victory down toward the inside. Fling it moving up quickly in the center of the racetrack. Still way wide at the entry to the first turn. And Fling it has the lead. Starlet Victory has a ground saving trip toward the rail in second. Certainly striking is parked third. Sunday Express is against the rail in fourth. Smoke in a bottle goes fifth. Isabella Hall is sixth. And a huge gap back to the trailer, Soup for the Soul, who is off stride. Opening quarter, 29 and three. There goes Certainly Striking, up to get the lead as they move on to the back stretch by almost a full length. Fling it second by two. Starlit Victory third by two. Sunday Express is racing in fourth. A gap of six more to Smoke in a Bottle, then Isabella Hall, and Soup for the Soul is the distant trailer. Certainly Striking made the top, but Fling It is right back out and driving to regain the lead because Certainly Striking is off stride. Certainly Striking makes a break. The half was reached in 58 seconds. Fling It opens up on the lead by 10 lengths, going to the far turn because Starlet Victory is off stride. Sunday Express moves up the inside in second. Isabella Hall goes to third. Starlet Victory is back trotting, but fourth. And now Isabella Hall is off stride, so Starlet Victory regains the third spot, but racing 20 lengths off the leader. Fling It is all alone at the three-quarter. The lead is 14 lengths back to Sunday Express, another five to Starlet Victory. Three quarters in 128. So long shot Fling It is by himself at the head of the stretch, leading it by nearly 20 lengths. Starlet Victory goes to second, around Sunday Express in third. Final eighth mile for Fling It. The trotter who was detained for the shoe repair has come back to take the lead at the half and move on clear of the field in the home stretch to take the top line two year old trot. Fling it wins it and Fling it takes it by 18 lengths. Starlet victory was second Sunday Express third in 159 flat. Into the winner's circle for race three. Here's the winner, number seven, long shot fling it, Mike Arnold with the winning drive. This two-year-old colt by Mr. Vic, bred by Kentuckiana Farms of Lexington, Kentucky. This Kentucky bred is trained by Steve Huffman, owned by C.D. Huffman of Sigourney, Iowa. Turner Graham of Sullivan, we told you he's celebrating his birthday today, and he has presented the trophy to C.D. Huffman. C.D., come on over here just a moment. By the way, before Mike Arnold gets away, Mike, a belated congratulations. Mike went into the Iowa Harness Racing Hall of Fame a year ago. He's a native of the Hawkeye State. Congratulations, Mike Arnold. C.D. Huffman, you're another Iowan, and you've raced here with a lot of success over the years. Where did you get this two-year-old trotter? Uh, bought him at Lexington down at the fall sale. Kentuckiana Farm raised him. 
and obviously you knew something about him you liked as a yearling. Was it pedigree, confirmation, or both? Ah, uh, pedigree. I was on the phone really when I bought him. Uh, Brian Penske was there, so he said he looked like a nice colt and pretty uh, typey type colt, so I said, well, go ahead. And it looks like he was a good investment. 159 is a fine two-year-old trotting record. C.D., congratulations. Thank you. C.D. Huffman of Sigourney, Iowa, our winning owner. The rundown is next.